if f of x equals the square root of 4 minus x squared and g of x equals 3x plus 1, find the following. This first one is asking us to add the two functions together. Uh, this notation may look confusing. You may recognize it as f of x plus g of x. These mean the same thing. So you're going to take the f of x function, 4 minus x squared, plus the g of x fun function, 3x plus 1. They happen to not be compatible. There's no like terms. So that is as far as you can go. Now we're going to find their domain. You've got to find the domain of each piece separately uh, because now the function has them together. Um, so what we're going to start with is the square root function. Remember, we know that this needs to be greater than or equal to 0 on the inside. So um, when I look at that inside, I notice it's a difference of squares. So I'm going to factor that into 2 minus x, 2 plus x. And this is like what we had in chapter 2, where we set each factor equal to 0, and we get, let's think about our number line, we get um, 2 from the first factor, and it can be equal at 2. And then we get negative 2 from the second factor, and that also can be equal to 0. And then we kind of want to, we want to test um, the different intervals here and see which one works. So if I plug in something... Uh, say less than negative 2, like negative 10, I would get 4 minus 100 on the inside, which is going to clearly make a negative, so that doesn't work. If I plug in 0 between negative 2 and 2, I get 4 minus 0, square root of 4 works, so that means it is shaded between. So that first uh, part of the function, the square root, is giving me that domain, negative 2 to 2. Uh, the second part of my function is the 3x plus 1, this is just a linear function, which means it has domain negative infinity to infinity. If I combine both domains together, or both number lines together, um, I can't go negative infinity to infinity. I really can just go negative 2 to 2 because of the more restrictive function, the square root function. So that means the domain for the whole thing is negative 2 to 2. Negative 2 to 2. Now, let's uh, subtract them. f minus g of x is the same thing as f of x minus g of x, which means you're going to take the f function and subtract the g function. Put parentheses around it because you can distribute your negative. Um, I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave it like this with parentheses on it. But if you don't put parentheses, then if you don't put parentheses and you have plus 1, then you will technically be wrong. It's because you have to distribute that negative. Um, so either distribute it or leave the parentheses alone. Uh, from there, this one has the same domain, negative 2 to 2. This piece has the same domain, negative infinity to infinity. So again, my domain is the more restrictive one, the negative 2 to 2. Now we're going to look at f of or f times g of x, which is your f function times your g function. So here we're going to have the square root of 4 minus x squared times um, 3x plus 1. Um, here, if you multiply them, um, not much is going to change. Um, you could distribute the square root. Um, if you do that, you don't need to, but I'll show you. It would look like 3x square root of 4 minus x squared plus um, 4 minus x, the square root of 4 minus x squared. So it doesn't look any better when it's distributed. So you could just leave it like this, and it's easier to find your domain this way. And again, the domains are going to be the same because nothing really has changed here. It's still going to be negative 2 to 2. Um, now we're going to look at f divided by g of x. So this is wanting you to take the f function divided by the g function. So when I look at my top function, I'm still going to have negative 2 to 2 on the number line. But when I look, now I have a linear function, but it's in the denominator, and that makes things different. Because remember, when anything's in the denominator, it cannot equal 0. So now instead of being negative infinity to infinity, now, we see that x cannot equal negative one-third. 
So that means there is a new part to this um, number line, this negative one third. So I'm going to erase my shading, and now it's going to be negative two to negative one third, and then negative one third to positive two. So that would change my domain into um, negative two to negative one third, parentheses, and then negative one third to two with brackets. 